Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a brand new video and today I'm going to show you everything that I picked up in June. 33 pickups for the month which is really good. Um, I've had bigger months and I've had smaller months but I think 33 was quite good and to be fair at the start of the month I didn't pick up too many, it was quite a slow burner but 33 nonetheless is quite good so uh, without further ado I've got my list here and I'm going to throw on screen now how many I got from each store. So we have one from Asda. We have eight from CEX, four from eBay, seven from HMV in store. We have five from HMV.com, one from Second Sight, three from Warner Brothers, and then four from Zavi. So 33 in total for June, which is really good. And without further ado, let's cut the intro and get straight into today's video. <laughs> So for this month's haul video, I thought I'd change things up a little bit. And what I do is I'm going to show you guys um, the movies that I picked up in alphabetical order of the stores that I got the movies from. So for example, I'm going to start off with Asda. So the one pickup from Asda is a movie called Licorice Pizza. Um, I got this for £13.50 as I used 10% off blue light discount. So quite a good deal. I got this about a week after release. This is the limited edition set with the, the box and the art cards. As you can see, it's not yet open. Um, apologies for the glare, guys, if there's any, but I'll try and try my best to not show um, the glare off as much as I can. But yeah, Licorice Pizza, good movie. I enjoyed it. I do think it's a little bit overhyped. Um, I didn't get like the whole like viralness of it. Like People love this movie. Um, it's really, really good, but like I don't know. For me, it's overhyped a little bit too much, but we're all entitled to our own opinions. I'm going to give this a rewatch and maybe I enjoy it second time round um, a little bit more, but we'll have to just wait and see. But yeah, the first pickup is Licorice Pizza, and that was from Asda. Next up, we have the pickups from CEX. We have eight in total, one 4K, seven Blu rays. The first title that I want to show you here is A Christmas Carol. This stars Jim Carrey. Um, this was a pickup for Lucy. She absolutely loves this and she throws this on every Christmas. So I thought, why not pick this up? Add this to our collection. And it was a pound, so really good deal there. So that was the first thing from CEX. Next up, we have one of my personal favourite movies of all time. I absolutely love this one. This is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Really good cast, really good coming of age story. It's great. Highly, highly recommend it if you haven't seen this one. But this was a pound. And I had to add this to my physical media collection. So very happy to find this one um, in store. So yeah, that is perks of being a wallflower. Next up is Delivery Man starring Vince Vaughn. This was really cheap. This was 50p. So I thought I'd just pick this one up because I'm a big fan of Vince Vaughn and his comedy work. So yeah, that is the next movie that I picked up and a cheap one. So not too bad. Next up is another very cheap title. This was another 50p pickup. This is The End. This has a really good cast. Really good comedy. And this one came with a slipcover as well. So really can't complain there. Um, this is a movie I've watched a couple of times on Netflix and stuff like that. And one I didn't own. So I thought for 50p and a slip, I'd definitely pick this one up. So yeah, that is this is the end. The next movie that I picked up from CEX is one I watched years and years ago when I was back in high school. Me and my friend watched this loads and we just loved it. It was just back in the day, we just absolutely loved this movie. It is a horror movie called One Miss Call. Now we had this on DVD back in the day for a pound. I thought I'd pick it up and add it to my Blu-ray collection. Um, I think it's a great film, although I haven't watched it since high school. So yeah, it, my opinion might have changed on it, but back then I absolutely loved it. We used to put this on all the time. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like Final Destination and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm very happy to find this for a pound and add it to my collection. This next one was also a pound pickup from CEX, another Blu-ray. This one stars Natalie Portman and it is called Black Swan. This is a movie I've never seen before. I've heard great things as well and I thought for a pound I'm going to have to pick this one up and check it out. Um, hopefully I like it. I've got no idea if it's my cup of tea but hopefully this is one that I'm uh, not going to regret picking up. But for a pound, like the artwork on the front, the front goes really nice. There's a spine, and yeah, for a pound, really, you can't complain. This back in the day would have been like what, ten pound, twelve pound maybe. Um, just, yeah, for a pound, great deal, and I'm very happy to pick this one up. And hopefully, it's one that I like. 
If you guys watched my previous video, the Blu-ray hunt video that I did when I went into Warrington, I shown this off in that video. This is a Arrow video release called Dinner in America. And this was £8 with a slipcover, very, very good condition. Um, I've never heard of this movie, but something about the artwork really got me interested in it. I read the back and thought, you know what, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to check it out. Big fan of Arrow at the minute, starting to get into that label a little bit more. And this was one that I had to get for £8. I think when I looked in store online, for £18 in HMV, 18 on Amazon, 18 on Zavi. So I thought, hey, for £8, this is one that I'm definitely going to pick up. So yeah, uh, if anyone has seen this movie though, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, if you've seen it, is it good or not? Um, but this is one that I'm going to have to get around to watching very, very soon. And that brings me to the final pickup of the month from CEX. This one is a 4K and it is Valerian. This was £10 with the slip cover. Really nice slip as well. It's got like that, that foily look to it. Um, it's going to look great on the shelf. And this is a movie that I think is going to look amazing in 4K. Now, it isn't the best movie. I have to just, you know, point that out. But the 4K visuals apparently are going to be great. Um, and I remember going to the cinema to see this and I thought it looked stunning and the colours popped, the animation, kind of CGI was fantastic. So this is one that I thought, you know what, the 4K must be good. So I thought I'd pick this one up and check that out. Um, from what I remember, I enjoyed it. It just wasn't the best sort of sci-fi for me. But nonetheless, big fan of sci-fi movies. So this was one that I really wanted to check out, especially on the 4K format. Okay, so moving on to the eBay pickups. Like I said earlier on in the video, four pickups in June. One of those is a 4K title and the other three are Blu-rays. I'm going to start off with a very, very good pickup and quite possibly the best pickup of the year so far in terms of price. I just want to say a shout out to somebody on Facebook. I think there was a, a gentleman on the, uh, the movie bug page or the big poorly page who put a link to this. And I jumped on it straight away. So whoever it was, I can't remember, but massive shout out to you. Um, I got Ron's Gone Wrong from Cinema Diso for £2 free postage. Absolutely incredible deal. Um, what a movie this was as well. I absolutely loved this one when I watched it a few months back. I thought the animation was great and I loved the story as well. But for £2, it's just absolutely insane. I was looking at this, I think the week before I got this. Um, in HMV, and it was on sale at about maybe six, seven pounds. But for two pounds, this was an incredible deal. So, again, whoever put that link on Facebook, massive shout out to you because this was a steal and a movie that I really, really am happy to have in my collection. The next two Blu rays that I want to show you guys from eBay are from a seller called Devoted to DVD. Now, they specialize in European releases. And now, I've seen these on Amazon going for a little bit more. Um, and this seller on eBay had free delivery and they come like the next day, which is insane. So big shout out to Devoted to DVD. Fantastic seller. Highly recommend, especially if you're into collecting like European re releases. Um, both of these are from Germany, I believe. There are no UK releases, hence why I picked them up. But they do play because they're region B, region 2, whatever. But first up, we have The First Time starring Dylan O'Brien and Britt Robertson. Um, these were dating at the time, so the chemistry that they have in this film is fantastic. One of my favourite comedies slash romantic comedies ever. And to have this in the collection, finally, I cannot be happier. This is probably one of my favourite titles in my entire collection. I'm so happy to have this movie um, physically on Blu-ray as well. So, yeah, if you haven't seen this one, guys, definitely recommend it. The second title to go along with that one, I picked up Palm Springs starring the fantastic Andy Sandberg from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This was a great movie and another one that wasn't released here in the UK. So when I seen this for a very good price on eBay, I thought, heck, I'm buying it. So if you haven't seen this movie, guys, definitely recommend it. It's like a time loop movie. Again, another romantic comedy, but it's one of the best. And again, it's a great addition to my collection. I'm just so happy to have these two. Um, I'm definitely going to purchase again from the seller because they were great. So yeah, definitely recommend, guys. The final pickup from eBay, the 4K title that I got. This was £7, I believe, so a great deal. Came brand new sealed with a slip. And it was The Lion King on 4K, the live action. So yeah, great addition to my Disney collection. This was one that I was missing. Seen it in CX a couple of times with no slip. Um, and for £7, brand new, 
had to pick this one up for that Disney collection. So yeah, um, those are my four pickups from eBay, guys. Now moving on to the pickups from HMV. Okay, guys, so seven pickups from HMV in store, five 4K titles and two Blu-rays. So I'm going to start off with the Blu-rays. First up is this movie right here called A Rainy Day in New York. This is a Blu-ray from The Big Sale, uh, $2.99, as you can see. Now, I picked this up because it stars Timothy Chalamet, and at the minute, I'm in a big Timothy Chalamet mood. He's a fantastic young actor, and this is one of his movies that I've never seen. So I thought, you know what, for two ninety nine, I'll pick it up. It stars uh, Jude Law, Ellie Fanning as well, so it's got a good cast, uh, and I just thought I'd check it out for two ninety nine. It's a good pick up. The second Blu-ray that I picked up as a part of the big sale from in store is Jonah Hex. Again, another two ninety nine pick up. This one stars Josh Brolin, John Malkovich, and Megan Fox. This is based on the DC Comics character, a movie I have seen in the past but didn't own. So for $2.99, that's why I picked this one up to add it to my collection. Moving on to the 4K pickups from HMV. First up is Baywatch. The sticker says 2 for 30, but this was a part of the 2 for 25. Um, I picked this up in my last Blu-ray hunt. If you haven't seen that video, link for that will be down below as well and on the screen there if you want to go and check that out. But yeah, Baywatch, great summertime movie, great cast. Had to get this in the collection. Would happily rewatch this over and over. So yeah, that is Baywatch. And then to go with that, I did pick up The Many Saints of Newark. This is a movie I haven't seen yet. Um, the Blu-ray is on sale at the minute, but I did opt for the 4K. I was debating whether to go back and swap it for something else, but I thought I'm going to watch it. It might be my cup of tea, so I'm going to check this out very soon. But if you have seen it, guys, please let me know down below in the comments if it's a good movie um, and what you like about it. And I'm hopefully going to get around to that pretty soon. But yeah, uh, so it's The Many Saints of Newark. The next two 4K titles that I got were in the 2 for 30. Now, this is a deal that I haven't kind of um, bought from for quite a while. I've gone for the 2 for 25s or I've been buying online, stuff like that. But I've not really touched the 2 for 30 for quite a while. And I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll get these. £15 each isn't too bad. Um, so the first one I picked up was Super 8 on 4K. Really, really nice slip cover. I love the artwork for that. And this is a movie that I have seen years ago. Can't wait to rewatch this and revisit this one as well. So yeah, that is Super 8. And then the next one is a more newer release. Um, and it is Spiral starring Chris Rock as a part of the Saw franchise. I quite enjoyed this. Yes, I thought it was predictable and I did guess the ending halfway through the film, but nonetheless, I enjoyed it. I'm a massive fan of the Saw franchise, so I had to pick this one up and I opted for the 4K and I love this slip. The artwork is great as well. So that spine will pop right on the shelf. The final pickup from HMV in store, and it's a quite a big one, not too heavy though. It is The Wizard of Oz, the 4K limited edition anniversary set. Um, as you can see from the sticker, £60 um, down to £40. I got this for £19.99. It's got a bit of weight to it. Let me just spin it round for you. Um, if you want to pause it and read what's on the back, or if you can, uh, sorry for the glare, guys. That's all the contents, what you get inside. Um, so you get four discs, and you get a 4K uh, the Blu-ray, you get a special feature disc and you also get the CD soundtrack. Um, over two hours of special features in this set as well, which is great. Um, we also get a 3D pop-up box design, six art cards, the original film poster, uh, which is like a reproduction. And then we also get a map of Oz as well. The box is really good condition. It's thick, it's sturdy, it's good quality. Um, in store, they only like have the sleeve, which is quite flimsy. Um, and I thought that it might be a bit cheap. Really nice set for £20. Really, really glad that I picked this one up. Um, it's a classic, so I had to own this in the collection. The next five titles are all from hmv.com. All five are in 4K. One of these is a pre-order, so starting with that, we have the Batman on 4K. This is the HMV exclusive steelbook set. I've not opened it yet, as you can see from the sticker there. It is brand new. Um, the box is quality and um, you get loads of art cards and there's some loads of good bonus content as well um, i love the artwork for this one i have pre-ordered the uh, the zavi set as well um which is like a double pack two steel books big big fan of this movie as you can tell i love the batman one of my favorites so far from this year as well 
in the top 10 and it will be there all year, no doubt about it. But yeah, this is a fantastic set, great release by HMV and I can't wait to give this one a watch in 4K. Next up, I picked up Days of Thunder starring Tom Cruise. This was £9.99 um, online. It's got the sticker on there for some reason, but this is a really good release. Great slip cover. It's in great condition. Very happy. And this is a movie I've never seen, but after watching Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick, um, I love Tom Cruise in American Made. I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this movie and check it out. It seems something that I'm going to enjoy. And I can't wait to give this one a watch. I've heard the 4K is quite good as well. So yeah, that is Days of Thunder. The next three titles were all in the big sale event at HMV. First off, we have Brightburn on 4K, £7.49. I paid for this. Great movie. Love the artwork. No slipcover, unfortunately, but I am very happy to have this in the collection. Just pop that on the side. Next up, we have Point Break on 4K. This is an older release. As you can tell, it comes with that like watch it anywhere um, slip as well this is a thinner release one of those american style releases but good movie and for 9.99 great deal and then the final pickup that i got from hmv is one i was kind of confused about when it arrived because i clearly didn't read the description of the item online now i thought i was buying schindler's list for 9.99 just the normal 4k and this turned up in the post if you guys can see that properly this is the 25th three disc anniversary edition. I can't believe this turned up. I can't believe this was 9 99 This has been sold out at my local store for ages. So very happy to have this in the collection. It's a classic and another must have in the collection, especially the 4K as well. So great set for 9 99 I was blown away when I received this. So HMV, big shout out to you guys sending me this. This was awesome. Moving on to the second site order that I made. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. This has been sitting in my room, ready to review since the start of June. Uh, this actually shipped early for me. Um, I picked up, like many other people in the movie community, Drive on 4K from Second Sight. A fantastic set. I cannot wait to open this. Um, I'm going on holiday on Sunday, so this is one that I'm going to wait and watch when I come back, um, possibly. I might watch it if I've got time before I go. I love the artwork. Second Sight have knocked out the park with this. The images I've seen on Instagram when it released as well, um, many other YouTubers and Instagram users put loads of great pictures on their pages and channels, and this looks great. One of my favourite movies, I own multiple copies. This is a great set, and I can't wait to get into it and check out the 4K. So moving quickly onto my Warner Brothers order, um, I picked up the Batman Trilogy Steelbooks. Um, I only have this one with me. Um, this is Batman Begins, as the other two have gone to a different address. So I've got to go and pick them up um, later on this week when I've got some time. But yeah, Batman Begins so far looks great. I love the quality that they've gone for with these boxes. Really high quality stuff. Uh, Reminds me very much of like a third party release. You get the steel book inside there and you get an envelope box as well, which will have all your goodies in it. Um, if you want to try and see that on the back, you can pause that, check out what's in it as well. Um, as soon as I seen these, I knew I had to get them. Now, I was originally going to get them on Amazon because they were ch the cheapest. Um, but then we were kind of um and ah about getting them because we didn't know if they were steel books because the listings had changed and stuff like that. I was talking to James from Movies with James and we did not know what these sets were because all the listings kept changing. So I held off for a few days. Um, the prices then went up. So I got them from Warner Brothers as they were having a 10% off. So it worked out um, kind of the same as well, which is not too bad. So yeah, that is Batman Begins. Like I said, I can't show you the other two. Um, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen now though, um, just in case you've never seen them or heard of these releases before. But yeah. Those are the three Batman Steel books um, in 4K. Great releases. Um, can't wait to watch these again. I've only recently watched them a few months back though, so it will be a while before I, I get these open. Next up, we have my pickups from Zavi. Going to finish the video off with these. I have four to show you guys. Three are Disney releases, and then one is a Steel book. All of these though are in 4K. Um, the Disney titles were on offer again, and I got these even cheaper. I got three movies for 8 99 each um, to add to my collection. So 
First off, we got Wally with the slipcover, $8.99, great deal. Uh, very happy to have that one in the collection. I've almost completed this set, so I've only got a few left. Next up, we have Inside Out. Again, this come with the slipcover, so really happy with that. Um, again, £8.99, really good deal. And then finally is Tangled. This is one I haven't seen, so I'm going to get around to watching that probably with Lucy soon. Um, I think this is one of her favourites as well, so looking forward to checking that out. So those were the three Disney titles. Again, £8.99 each, which is fantastic, especially to get the Blu-ray and the 4K with that. Um, and to finish up the video, to finish up my haul for June, um, I have a Steelbook pre-order from Zavi. This was got um, for me by my dad, so... Thanks, Dad, for this. Um, Morbius, starring Jared Leto. A fantastic steelbook release from Sony and Zavi. Really loved the artwork in this. The movie was quite good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than Venom and Venom 2. So it is what it is again, guys. But I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it could have been better. It has its flaws. But it's enjoyable for me. And I'm very happy to have the steelbook in my collection. It's a shame that Sony do these, like paper j cards because they don't last and when you like take them off they just look crap um i binned my venom um one from the, the first venom movie i binned that because i got it from cex and took it off and it was just ruined so i'll probably do the same with this i probably won't keep it and in all fairness the steel books look better without them because obviously there's artwork on the back as well so the j cards kind of ruin them so yeah probably get rid of that but that is it in terms of my pickups for june I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you've been picking up and just let me know if you liked my pickups or if you want to see me get anything else. And always leave me um, some recommendations as well for new releases, old releases or any deals. It's always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time. Uh, if you can, subscribe while you're here. Leave a like on today's video and go follow me over on Instagram at The Movie Insider. But guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <music> you.